Okay folks, so we're going to walk us through um, the Global Bay iPad CRM demo. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to walk us through the components of the solution. I have an RFID tag here. I've got a credit card. I've got an iPad. I've got a mobile printer with a credit card swipe capability. I've got an RFID receiver and an RFID antenna. Now, the use case here is for a retailer that wants to improve loyalty. So they would give these RFID tags or cards to the top 10% of their customers where when a customer comes into a store with this tag, this antenna would read this tag and automatically send a message to the iPad alerting the store associate that the customer is actually in the store and they can actually service them and deliver an incredible user experience or buying experience at that, uh, for that particular brand. So let me go ahead and actually launch the application. Now, before I start, I also want to note that this is a native application, not a web browser, not a browser-based application. This is a native application that takes full advantage of the Apple operating system and the user interface. Um, while I'm logging in, I also want to point out that this application that we have will integrate to any existing backend system you have, whether that's your point of sale system, your CRM system, um, or a new system. Um, the advantage is that uh, Global Bay will leverage your existing investment and your existing technology to deliver this sort of user experience in your store. So now you'll notice that this RFID tag is automatically detected and pulls up the customer information. But of course, for those retailers that don't want to leverage RFID, you could also search for the customer information as well. So RFID is not the only way to use this solution. Um, so now what we'll do, I'll select the customer. You could see the purchase history for the customer. I could expand the view here, look at all the different things that they've bought. I can obviously use the scroll capability to see all the additional items. What I could also do is look at the task scheduling component of it. Um, these, are, these are the existing tasks. I can add new tasks. So these are all the typical features you'd expect to see in a CRM or a clienteling application uh, for your store associate. Now let's walk through the actual buying experience. So I can actually look up previous purchases, um, and this, this, this cool uh, war, uh, uh, wardrobing tool allows me to actually scroll inventory as well as items that the customer has purchased so I can actually assemble an outfit. So I can say, for example, oh, since you bought these, these jean shorts, you may want to think about buying this top maybe with these shoes, and let's go ahead and add this to your wish list. Right, this wish list can then integrate to the e-commerce site, so if the customer doesn't want to buy today, they can at least integrate this to the e-commerce site so when they go home, they can see this in their shopping cart and buy there if they want to do that. Or I can very easily add to my shopping cart and actually complete a transaction. What I could also do, which is kind of interesting, is actually look at uh, a product and do a product locator feature where what it will actually do is using the Google Maps feature, show me what additional stores in the area have this product. So if I don't have it at this location, you can go to another location and buy it. Um, so from a, from a shopping cart perspective, it also has suggestive features as well, where uh, obviously I've selected these two items, but the system can also select or suggest uh, uh, complementary products that may make my purchase even more worthwhile. So at this point, what I'll do is I'll actually complete the transaction I'll go ahead, obviously I can take check or cash, but for this transaction we'll do credit card. Let me go ahead and take the credit card here and let's do a credit card swipe. And what you'll notice is as I swipe, it'll actually detect that on the iPad, um, goes ahead and processes it, and it'll actually capture a capture signature. And at this point, I can email a receipt or print the receipt. So we'll go ahead and print the receipt goes to the customer and the transaction is complete. That marks the end of our demo.